So I am going to go through kind of real time on doing job costing for a project where I'm pulling the information from, how I'm putting everything together. Some of these spreadsheets we have, we'll be offering on Patreon. Um, and then some of the videos, we're gonna have more videos that'll be on Patreon, but some we'll keep doing free on YouTube. So sharing my screen now, uh, we've got, this is our scheduling system when I work. And this is where we have all of our projects um, put in. We have all of our hours that are tracked here. Uh, this was the week, April 28th through May 4th. The one project we need to do is a commercial project. So I can get down to all my hours on this job. Now we're going to pull up our worksheet. So in this worksheet, I'm just gonna copy and paste from our template onto, this is our, our worksheet basically for um, all of our job costing. So we just track projects in here. So I'm gonna just come down here. I'm gonna paste this in and then give this project a name. Completion date. And then our total for the project, which I will have. Okay, 1487.34. Okay, so this was like a pretty basic commercial exterior. Um, basically just a big box, tilt up, pretty straightforward. Everything was going one color. They did have some uh, lines, lines from stripes that we had to scrape out. And actually I'm gonna pull up uh, some photos of this right now. Okay, so here's the project. Exterior, power washing prep, uh, for the concrete, we did full primer um, as for the tilt up walls. And then we've got some roll up doors, couple man doors, a little bit of wrought iron. So concrete primer was an option uh, for $4,331. They accepted rain gutters were also an option for 1200 bucks. Accepted that as well. Now this is the building. So this is a really basic, you know, all straight walls. Uh, we did power washing. We sanded the stripes out so we couldn't see the lines afterwards because we were not going back with stripes again. So basic project. So I'm pulling that price 1487.34 into here. So that's gonna start with our job total. Now automatically that kicks out a budget, um, 227 hours, uh, $6,600 for labor, uh, 2,200 for materials. And then we've got to go in and fill out our actual hours and our actual labor and our actual materials. Now commission on this $888 and 44 cents. That doesn't change for the way that we do our pricing. Um, our estimator gets that commission right off the top of that total sale price. So whether we make money on this project or not, he's getting his money. Now there are, good and bad things to that. So the good thing is it's really simple for us. We just calculate it right off the top. He gets paid for him. It's good because it's like automatic reward, right? You're, you're, you go sell a job for 15 grand. You got 900 bucks. Um, the bad side of that, which we don't have to deal with, um, is if he goes out and sells this same job for 10 grand and we lose money and he still gets his 750. That would not be good for us. So we have a really short feedback loop, which you know we'll go through, price this, uh, do this project, job cost it, and then figure out if we're making money or not making money on it. So if we run into a, a situation where we have a couple losers in a row, then we're gonna be revisiting that pricing like immediately. So we change this stuff up pretty regularly. We change up our pricing, um, we will, 
you know, if our material prices go up, which happened during COVID like four times, um, we'll go through and adjust our pricing accordingly. So during COVID, we had like four price changes between Sherm Williams, Dunn Edwards, four each, five each, something like that. So we were changing our price on a regular basis and then demand got super high. So we were increasing our price during that time. And then payroll got super high because everyone wants a raise. Now everyone slammed. So we just kept adjusting our prices. If you're not tracking job costing real time, like you're gonna fall behind on that quickly. And then all of a sudden you're three months deep and you don't know why you're losing money. You know, you're busy, but you're losing money. You don't know why. Doing job costing will help you mitigate that. So if you're on top of your numbers, I know every week if we made money last week or if we lost money. You know, I have the feeling last week felt good. We did $30,000 work. But if I didn't adjust my prices during COVID, I would have been losing money because our labor costs went up, our material costs went up, just everything went up. Gas prices went up, everything. So I, I adjust my prices fairly regularly, a couple times a year, and or, or just make sure that they're accurate. All right, so anyhow, uh, 1480734, we have our hours, our labor, our material budgets. Um, in order to find out our actual numbers, um, I have an account through Dunn Edwards. We go through and I can just check our purchase orders. All right, we've got three orders here. So I'm going to add these up. We've got 835. 91, 112, 19, 673, 81. Okay, so I've got 162191. We're gonna go back here. Actual materials cost 162191. I'm going to double check this to make sure there aren't any other purchases in here. All right, we've got 430 to 51. So I'm just gonna check the date ranges, make sure I have everything. Sometimes guys will put in um, a first name and last name here. Sometimes they'll put in a street address. I just wanna make sure we're not missing anything. All right, we got that one, two, three. All right, so there is a fourth one. So this one was spelled wrong. So we're gonna take that 478.96. We're gonna add it 21. Okay. All right, so 2187 is our material cost. Now for our labor, we are gonna pull that from this is the app that we use for all of our projects, scheduling. We have all these different job sites from that week in here. We're just gonna select that one and we're gonna input our painter's names into our job cost. Israel was the lead on this one. Okay, we've got our names in. Now we're gonna go through our hours. Um, we've got eight hours a day, Monday through Thursday. And then I think we had power washing, yep. So the Friday prior, we did power washing. Uh, we had two guys on the project. So I'm going to give these guys Friday for power washing. And then we're gonna go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days.
Okay, I went in here and deleted these out and I messed up the formula. All right, let's see, what is that? Okay, now I'm gonna go through my actual labor cost. So that's our hours, we had 144 hours. Our budget was 227.81. Uh, for my hours, all I'm doing is making this automatically calculate that. Right, those are our total hours. This calculates all of this stuff here. So our total hours get popped into there. When I went in here and just deleted the zero that was in there or whatever was in there, I took out the formula too. Now our actual labor is not an automatic um, fixed number because that number changes depending on who's on the project. So all these guys get paid different wages. And so for the actual labor, I'm just gonna refer to my um, payroll. Okay, so my labor cost on this is 5,112 and 66 cents. Okay, so our labor budget was 6,600, actual labor 5,100, uh, materials budget 2,200, actual materials 2,100, commission 88, uh, 888.44. Uh, gross profit that we want to make on this is 5,900, which we hit. Bonus payout $1,670. So this project is a pretty good one, um, pretty straightforward. These commercial projects, usually we can price higher. Uh, and then depending on what's involved, we can usually generate some pretty good income. Now this client, we've done a few projects for him. He does not question our prices. We're fair with him on it. This is a healthy profit. The guys will get a bonus out of this. But had we had any issues on this project, we would have just eaten it, right? So this 1600 bucks extra could have gotten whittled down really easily. So. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose a little, sometimes your, your pricing is right on. Uh, in this case, a lot of bonus money getting paid out here. So right off the top, uh, lead painter would take 20% off of that, which is 334.17. And then based on hours, he'll get paid 371. Our other guy has similar hours, 371. So these bonuses end up being pretty hefty. So you get put on a project like this, and you get a really nice bonus at the end of it. Now, when you have the same painters that continually get bonuses, you know, big bonuses on projects, other guys want to be on their crew, right? They see the bonuses coming in week in, week out, and it's like, whoa, what are these guys doing to get their these big bonuses or such, such frequent bonuses? And so the other painters see that. Everybody sees what the bonus payouts are every week. And they're like, I don't want to be on this guy's crew. I want to be on that guy's crew. Um, they keep getting bonuses, right? So there's some some incentive here to do a project faster and get bonused out on it. I mean, it's a, it's a really good system. And you get some guys that are just fine with, with doing, you know, regular project, not pushing and just making their time. And for me, as long as this number is hit, this gross profit number, I don't really care what the bonus number is. They should care. They're going to get paid out of that. For me, I need that 40% to run my company. So that's to run my company, to keep everything moving forward, to spend money on marketing, to have an income, the income that I want. That's all I need. I need my 40%. Anything else here, I have no problem letting go of. Now, it's tough when you have a couple losers back to back, which we've had plenty of those. But then you adjust your pricing, you figure out what happened, what went wrong, and then make it right for the next project. So that's basically how I come up with these numbers, right? We have our job total that comes off of our CRM through drip jobs that gives us our hours budget, our labor budget, and our material budget. Our actual hours come from our uh, scheduling system, When I Work. We'll do a full video on that too. That's a really good system we've been using for a long time. 
So that's where our actual hours come from. Um, then our actual hours, uh, our actual labor cost is coming from QuickBooks, which is where we do our accounting. I didn't want to share that as too much personal information in there, but so this is our actual labor cost for this project. And that's with workers comp, employer taxes, um, and then the actual cost of the hours. Our actual material costs come from either our Sherwin-Williams um, uh, login account or Dunn Edwards. Commission is just right off the top. Gross profit is what's left. Uh, our bonus payout is what's left after everything gets paid for. So pretty clean project. Um, I would love to do these all year long, uh, but we don't always have these. So we just try to make sure that everything is profitable, that you know we'd like to give the guys bonuses, but if we're below that 40% to run the business, then we're not bonusing. So it's pretty cut and dry and everybody gets to see this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. We'll do another one of these soon. Um, I'm planning on doing one of these live at some point and just have people ask questions, whatever. You can ask about these formulas that we have in here. Uh, these formulas are also really simple. I mean, they're, they're really simple calculations, and but there, there are ways to mess them up. So like right at the start of this video, I deleted it and I had to think about what that formula was, right? Put it back in, piece of cake. I don't, I don't build spreadsheets all the time, so I don't, I just have to think about it for a minute. Simple formulas, but I still have to think about it for a minute. All right, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, thank you for following along.